friends, it is Super Miss K here, ready to talk to you all about superhero art. Am I wearing a cape that is a scarf? You'll never know. Today we're going to be making something called an onomatopoeia, which is like an explosive word. Now, we're going to think about how our superhero kind of embodies us. So what would we want our superhero to say or to um, explain or have something be really exciting around the outside of our superhero? So I'm going to be using my creativity to practice a word that is going to pop or pow or crush or slam off my page using some simple art materials. So all you really need today is a paper, a scissors, and then some sort of coloring material, whatever you think you would like to use. So we're of course going to start with our superhero mantra today, so make sure you say it mega strong, and then we'll get started with our onomatopoeia art. Here we go. My mantra. I am positive. I am creative. I am mindful. I am amazing. I am an artist. All right, my superhero friends, let's get started by making some super cool pop art words. Okay, super artists, an onomatopoeia is an explosive word. So for example, on my bandana here, I have words like wham, boom, pop, pow. And all of those words are within kind of, it looks like a speech bubble, but it's got these explosive lines around the outside. So you can pick some sort of word that you think would be really awesome to try, or you could even just do this style of a superhero font in a little bit more of a word that you choose that maybe isn't an explosive word. So for example, I'm going to do my word as create because I'm gonna be a superhero art teacher and I want to be able to make a word that will inspire others. So when you start laying out your word, you'll need some sort of piece of paper and then you can begin with a pencil in case you make a mistake, it might be nice to erase. But of course, we can always practice our confidence and problem solve if something happens that you don't really like how it turned out. Now to make my word for create, I'm going to work with big, huge capital letters. And sometimes black letters can be a little bit tricky to make. So the way to start that's really simple is to make a really light whisper of your letters. So I'm making C, R, E, A, T, E. Then, don't forget the exclamation mark because we need it to be big and bold. And to make something have a black letter around the outside, now I'm gonna trace around it kind of like a road. So I'll make the end of my letter and I'll trace the inside. So I'm going kind of around the outside of my C here first, do the end of my letter, and then trace around the outside again. Now I have a big, huge, bold capital C. So I can do the same thing for the rest of my letters to trace around the outside and then erase that little helpful whisper so that I don't have that part showing. And then I'll have my letters filled out in blocks. So I'm gonna go ahead and trace those first. Now I'm going to draw the shadows. If you look at my fabric here, you'll see that one side is a little bit darker. So in this word pow right here, I've got this right side has more of a darker, kind of like a big black shadow that makes my word look like it's coming off of the fabric. So I'm gonna do the same thing to my letters here, and I'm just going to pick a side. So I'm gonna go on the left here, and I'm gonna come around the left side here. I would probably have a little bit of that part showing here of my C. My R is gonna have a shadow on this side. And even if you can't do the shadow exactly perfect, you can just kind of experiment with what you think is going to work. So I'm gonna to try to build my shadow coming off of my letters until I have this whole thing done with block letters that are popping off my page. One little trick you can remember is that look for the corners of your block letters and draw a diagonal line coming down the edge draw that diagonal line coming down from all of the corners, and then you can connect those lines with some more parallel lines, ones that go in the same direction as the lines of your letters. So if I come down this way, all of a sudden I have a block on that side, and then it will maybe become a little bit more natural what you need to do for your letters. So I'm gonna finish doing my block and then trace everything with Sharpie so that I can really see it super bold and well. Now it's time to add our explosive lines and color. Again, you can use any tools that you have around you to color, and we're actually gonna cut out our paper when we're done just so that it has a little bit more of an interesting edge instead of always being on a rectangle. So I'm gonna draw my edge, maybe do, let's see, kind of something that's like a little bit zigzaggy, like it's exploding. Whoop. Come off this edge, and I'm just going to color this with really big bold colors. So I'm gonna to stick to the primary colors, red, yellow, and blue, 
because I think that might be kind of fun for my Mrs. K superhero. It will make a little bit more sense. I'm also going to do, let's see, I might come off this way with like a little bit of a pop line and then over here, whoop, a little bit more too, just to kind of give it two little edges. So then I'll trace these and then I'm going to color with some big bold patterns and designs. Hey super friends, it is time for you to cut out your onomatopoeia once you have it all decorated the way that you want. So you're probably going to need to cut pretty bold around the outside and you'll notice that I outlined mine a little bit more with a thicker black marker so it really pops off my page. So once you cut it out, I'll show you one special thing you can do at the end. Okay super friends, you made an amazing onomatopoeia which kind of looks like a cartoon word just like you might see in a comic strip. So the last thing that I want you to do is to have a little bit of a photo shoot if you can and take a few different pictures of you holding your onomatopoeia word just like you would with a cartoon. Something like this. Whew, that photo shoot wore this superhero art teacher out. So of course we're going to end with a little bit of meditation and mindfulness to get us ready for the rest of the day. So my friends, go ahead and put those superhero hands right on your belly and then you are going to take three superhero breaths showing those muscles right in between each breath. So three together, in fact put one right on your chest and one under your belly, kind of like we usually do. And we're going to see if we can keep that belly breath strong and then a strong muscles in between um, each of those breaths. Here we go, ready? Belly, show me your muscles. Next one, here we go. Two. Show me those with strong superhero muscles. Three. And one more time, flex those superhero muscles. Remember, you are amazing. You are strong. You are resilient, and I love you. We will see you next time, superheroes. Da -da -da! Hey friends, Super Miss K here with the coolest cake in the world. Hello. Hello friends, Super Miss K here with the coolest cape in the world. Is it a scarf?